Alrighty. What's up, everybody? Peter Gilmore here for a Tuesday night video. Just pumping out, pumping out those videos every single day as much as I can. So I got, got some free time after work. So I finished work a couple hours ago. Blah, 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 blah. Well, anyway, thank you all for watching the this video right here on the Peter fucking Gilmore channel, youtube.com slash Peter Gilmore. Thank you all for watching on this Tuesday night. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, like this video and hit that subscribe button down below on this very channel and all my other channels, which are in the description box below. And don't forget to find me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Share the video all over the internet, but most importantly, tap that bell, smack it around like it's your bitch. But hit the bell, turn on all notifications, and hopefully YouTube sends out my videos to you. And if not, then unsubscribe and resubscribe. Hopefully hit the bell again, put on the notifications. Hopefully my videos go out to you that way. And if that doesn't work, then you're just going to have to search my channels and my name. And that's basically all I got to say about that. Hopefully in 2022, YouTube will fix that or get rid of it. I'd rather they get rid of it, but... And then bring back some of the old stuff that they used to have, like the messenger, the, you know, you message people on on YouTube. Uh, bring back the webcam feature, so you don't have to use Streamyard. Or I mean, this is what it is. Um, um, annotations and a whole, whole bunch of stuff that YouTube took like ten years ago. They need to bring some of them back at least, but. It is what it is, and um, we'll see what happens with that. But if you're a first-time user, hit the bell, get notified, subscribe to the channel, smash that like button to death, and follow me on social media. And um, that's all I gotta say about that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on this pretty pretty cold Tuesday night. December the 7th, 2021, we're 17 days away from the greatest day in the world, you know what that is, 18 days away from Christmas, and 24 days away from the end of the year, so getting there, the two, three weeks, we're two, three weeks away from the end of the year and Christmas, and the start of 2022, but it is what it is, um, I do have a quick update, um, but this is not definite. Let me just put it out there. A quick update, a uh, quick channel update, if you will. Um, you know, I mentioned that uh, by after Christmas, I may be going to Baltimore or Florida, but that's up in the air right now. Where I go at the end of the year, it may not be the 26th. It may not even be the 27th. It might be around, actually around a couple of days before New Year's that I actually go away. Um, there is a chance that I will be going to Baltimore. But like I said, it's not definite yet. I will let you guys know for def for sure, hopefully by this weekend. Either by tomorrow or by this weekend. I'll let you guys know what is going to happen for this channel and all my other channels at the end of the year. But I will be here through Christmas. So, we're going to get a lot of content this week, next week, and Christmas week. Lots of live videos. Some regular videos off the phone. And um, some live stuff off the phone, too, on YouTube Live, which is tonight. Uh, NXT Review. So, we'll get that. And um, we'll continue on our Tuesday journey here on... Here on this Tuesday journey on YouTube.com. Alright, hope everybody had a great day. And if not, well, I can't help you there. Alright, on this Tuesday evening, ladies and gentlemen, on the Peter fucking Gilmore channel. The wrestling channel. We've got a couple of topics I want to talk about. But the main one, as the title below says, that's the, it's going to be the main title. As the title below says, Chris Jericho... Is going to retire? Question mark. Or Chris Jericho retires? 
question mark. I don't know how I'm gonna I'm gonna word it, but but there is some rumors rumors going around that Chris Jericho might be hanging the boots up pretty soon. And well, we'll see what happens with that. He is 51 years old. Le Champion, the demo god Chris Jericho, possibly, uh, possibly retiring from the ring. Doesn't mean the commentary booth, but as an active wrestler, he may be retiring pretty soon. But we'll see what happens with that. All right, let me take the story from from RingsideNews.com. The Bible of all uh, wrestling news. All right. Like I said, um, this is coming off ringsidenews.com. I'll put the link in the description box. Uh, naturally, one wonders how much Le Champion's got in the tank. That's Chris Jericho. While he's still putting on entertaining matches and promos, nobody can outlast time. Nobody's got to catch up to Father Time, you know what I mean? Kind of caught up to the Undertaker a little bit too late, but it is. Excuse me, a little, you know, a little bit too late. But still, he he ended his career with, you know, he re- rode off into the sunset at WrestleMania. Uh, thirty, what are you, thirty six? I believe, yeah, I think it was thirty six against AJ in that uh, that boneyard match that was pretty damn good. Then, um, where he, um, uh, wasn't really doing anything after that. Um, then they had the whole thing at Survivor Series last year. Uh, where he comes out and just says, I'm done. And, um, they had a nice ceremony from him in the ring. I wish fans were there. It would have been epic. But it's during the time of the Thunder Dome. But it is what it is. But anyway, as far as Jericho goes... Uh, Jericho discussed how he'll, how, um, when his time, uh, inevitable retirement may be, uh, he was talking in Newsweek magazine about it, and he says, and I quote, I don't think when you're 19, you really think about retirement. I never really said, okay, I'm going to do the, do it this long, and I still don't. I don't know how long I'm going to do the sport, because, see, sport, not Sports entertainment. Wrestling is a sport. You fucktards at home. They don't still don't think that wrestling is 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 sports entertainment. It ain't a sport. It's sports entertainment. No, it's a sport. Moron. Jericho said it himself. So you can go fuck yourselves. Ah, uh, so he says, I don't know how long I'm going to do the sport because I don't think that way. When people ask how long are you going to do this, I say I don't know. When I feel like I don't want to do it anymore, I don't feel that way right now. So, he is not retiring yet. So that's why I put the question mark so you think I'm... So you mo- dumb fucks think I'm clickbaiting. I don't clickbait. So, I masturbate, but I don't clickbait. But it is what it is. There's a whole bunch of other people who do that shit. Uh, Jericho discussed the longevity of his career thus far. He said the key to sticking around is always reinventing himself. He wants to always stay relevant for as long as he's wrestling. Um, I'm not going to read the rest of it. Uh, I'm going to read the end. There's a way to do do that, meaning uh, stay, you know, reinventing your career for so long. Uh, there's a way to do that, but you have to take chances. You have to be confident in your ability as a character and as a performer. Uh, Jericho is currently on tour with Fozzy in the UK. Uh, the band plays The Mill in Birmingham, England tonight. So if you're in Birmingham, go see Fozzy and tell him Peter Gomez sent you. Uh, the tour wraps up December the 12th at London's Islington Academy. I thought it was going to be at the O2 Arena or Wembley, but, eh, Probably like, like a little shack or some shit. And, um, that's pretty much it for that. Alright, so... So, Jericho possibly, possibly, um, will be retiring, but not anytime soon. And that's that. 
All right, got a got a little bit of time left. Um, we got we got NXT 2.0 coming up tonight. Uh, the aftermath of a very meh war games. Let's see if anybody's alive and still kicking. Um, but we got the final night of uh, Johnny Gargano. He's gonna come and address the crowd. See where his on uh, where he's gonna go next. It might be the main roster. Uh, he might just say, "I'm going. I'm going to be all elite." Or I'm just going to leave. He's not going to say AEW, I don't think. But I'm just going to go be with my friends. That may mean PWG or AEW. Who knows what's, what's going to happen with him. But the main event tonight on NXT 2.0. It's going to be Kyle O'Reilly. O o o o all parts. Take it on. Von Wagner inside a steel cage, brother. So this is the... The third time that they've used the cage in a span of three days. That's overkill. Please don't have a cage match on SmackDown. Please. So see what happens with that. That's uh, Kyle's last match possibly in, in NXT. Uh, a lot of rumors saying that Kyle's going to AEW. He could be appearing next week. On um, Winter is Coming 2 in Garland, Texas. You know, maybe he comes out with Bobby Fish and um, Adam Cole. They, you know, they do this and they. The Undisputed Era is back, but you know, you know, I don't know how the Bucks are gonna handle that, but we'll see. And that's it. So we're gonna say goodbye to Johnny. We're gonna say goodbye to Kyle. Uh, for how long and where they end up, I don't know. Unless something comes up in the next couple hours, a couple days. Because Johnny's official contract ends on Friday. Kyle's, I think, is coming up actually this coming week, too. So, by the end of the week, both of them will probably be gone. And where they go, I don't know. But it is what it is. So, we'll see what happens with that tonight on NXT 2.0. Coming up in a little over an hour. And later on, after... After NXT, I will be here live on YouTube Live... To give you my thoughts and opinions about tonight's show, my live review. Guys can come in the chat and be a bunch of dumbasses or actually talk some wrestling. But but we'll see what happens with that. Alright. Um quick other other big news story. Regarding AEW, AEW is going to be debuting in Atlantic City, New Jersey, February the, I believe it's February the 6th, with Dynamite and Rampage. Uh, let me just check the date. I wrote it down. No, I think it's February, I think it's February the 9th. February the 9th, uh... Let me just type it in the search field because uh, there is a story on Ringside News uh, that I want to. There we go. Here we go. I got that. Alright. Let me just get the story. I will put the link to um, both stories in the Gobbly Gook down below. Alright. AEW has announced the location for their February 9th, 2022 Dynamite. And that's going to be. The Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, the same venue where they held WrestleMania 4 and 5. Number 4 was the tournament, which Macho Man Randy Savage won. And then WrestleMania 5 was Macho Man Randy Savage against Hulk Hogan, brother. You know, the, the Mega Powers disintegrate, or they collide and everything. And which Hogan won that, Hogan won the belt back. After the whole Andre the Giant situation on Saturday night's main event, where Earl Hebner got bought out by uh, Ted DiBiase, Andre won the belt, even though Hogan's shoulder were, shoulders were, were clearly up. So Andre won the title for the once and only time he's won the world title, even though it doesn't count because he gave it to uh, Ted DiBiase. And then Hogan complained and everything. And then he went to Jack Tunney, they had that whole thing. And then Tony 
came out and said we're gonna do a tournament uh, next year. Uh, WrestleMania four. Hogan and Andre were, the, you know, were in it, but they got counted out, so they were gone. And then Macho Man went through the entire tournament, first round, second round, third round, he beat Ted DiBiase to win the belt. And then the whole thing, the Mega Powers come together, and then that fateful Saturday Night's main event when they exploded, and then the promos both did, it was just fucking amazing. Ma Savage's promos on Hogan were just amazing. I'm surprised he didn't they didn't make him uh, go over and and beat Hogan, but you know how Hogan's politics were back in the day. Gotta get the belt, brother. So we had that. So February the 9th, two thousand twenty-two, from the Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, AEW debuts in Atlantic City for Rampage, a Rampage taping, and a live Dynamite. So. AEW is going to be hitting the New Jersey area for a while, if you know what I mean. They're going to be in Long Island tonight. Then the debut show, the debut on TBS January the 5th in Newark, New Jersey at at, a, at the Rock, the Prudential Center for you dumb people that don't know where it is. And then a month after that, they're coming back to Jersey at the Boardwalk Hall, which holds a lot more people than, well, than the... Uh, then the Prudential Center can hold like maybe 15,000, 15 to 20,000 people. The Boardwalk Hall, they can, can, they can get maybe around 20,000, maybe more. That might be their biggest event yet, but I don't know. But we'll see what happens. I mean, they got their biggest event was on Arthur F Stadium, but, you know, getting, getting in there was a nightmare. Uh, so Nick told me firsthand, but it is what it is. All right, so then they're going to do that February the 9th, 2022. Um, tickets go on sale next Friday, December the 17th at 10 a.m. Fans can get in the door for $29 plus fees. That's not bad. So if you want to take your significant other, $48 plus fees. But that's going to sell out real quick. So there's no way I'm going to go there. No way. Even if there was, there was tickets on StubHub for that show. But... It is what it is. Right now, right now, I'm a little light. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm getting paid this uh, the old, next couple of weeks. Maybe, uh, maybe it, there, there might be a chance I can get some really ant tickets, but still, I can go to the building. But I have to first book book a hotel in Atlantic City because I, I like to stay in Atlantic City to play the slots. I mean, the slots. You know, Rosa wants to gamble, so. Watch some wrestling, do some gambling, maybe dance the night away, wherever we are, and then come right back home. So, that's a, on Thursday we come back home. But, I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. Alright, so um, $29, $29 to get in, guys. That's not bad. But I think, I don't know if that's the, for the, for, um, the seats, the actual seats, like in, 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 um, the, and ring, at ringside, first row seats. I don't know. If that's gotta be twenty nine dollars. I would be surprised with that. But I would think ringside would be more than twenty nine dollars. I would think twenty nine dollars would be in the in the cheap seats. But it is okay. Here it is. Tickets start from twenty nine dollars plus fees. Go on sale on December seventeenth. So so from the back and on the sides. If you ever been in that arena. You know what it looks like, so. But you can get a picture of that, and pretty good. But I would think from twenty nine dollars for the, you know, for the upper seats, uh, I would think ringside would be about close to two hundred or more, maybe. But we'll have to see what happens with that. But once again, AEW makes its Atlantic City debut Wednesday night. February the 9th with Dynamite and a Rampage taping from Boardwalk Hall in New Jersey. And tickets go on sale next Friday at 10 o'clock. So get them while they're hot. And that's pretty much it. Um, also got one more big story about who's going to be taking Vincent Kennedy McMahon's place after he uh, either steps down or dies 
And that man will be Nick Khan. Oi, not good. Not gonna be Triple H, as we all thought, but. So anyway, Mr. McMahon is 76 years old. Uh, as we know, he's taken over the company from his dad, Vince, uh, Vincent Kennedy, well, not Vincent Kennedy, but uh, Vincent J. McMahon, I believe, uh, senior, Vince McMahon senior in 1982. Had the rock and roll wrestling era, you know, rock and roll wrestling, you know, MTV day, you know, Cindy Lauper, and blah, 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 blah. In the 80s, and the Attitude Era, in the late 90s, you know, Boost the Crashing Era, and then the PG Era, which basically sunk the company. So anyway, fans have been speculating, uh, what, what's gonna happen, uh, when Vince is no longer in charge, whether he, uh, he actually, you know, Gets gets really sick. I, I mean, I don't want to wish wish anything bad on Vince McMahon. I've said a lot of shit about Vince McMahon, but I don't want him to die yet. But but who's gonna take over for Vince when he has to step down, or when he uh, you know sadly dies? And that's probably when wrestling dies itself. But it is what it is. But at least we still have Tony Khan. Uh, so Dave Meltzer said on the Wrestling Observer Radio. That Vince's replacement will most likely be Nick Khan. That's not good. Uh, Khan is the current president and chief revenue officer of the WWE. Uh, Meltzer said, I mean, it's kind of a board or director's thing, but probably Nick Khan will replace Vince McMahon. Unless they want and hire somebody else from the outside, but probably Nick Khan will be the, the successor to Vincent Kennedy McMahon. So it's not going to be Triple H, it's not going to be Stephanie, it's not going to be Shane McMahon. So, so, you know, our good buddy Phil, you know, Phil Brooks, when he says, like, you know, the WWE better off dead when Vince is dead and his, you know, his daughter and his doofus son-in-law take over, uh, that's not going to happen. So the, the pipe bomb prophecy... May you know be a thing in the past. I'm like, oh, well, uh, your little pipe bomb didn't work because Vince died and Nick Khan took took over. So, it is what it is. Uh, Nick Khan has seen his influence within WWE grow rapidly since the company hired him uh, last August. He's tweaked the promotion schedule and added a new pay per view that he believes will rival other major annual shows. Why do you think he made day one? To rival Wrestle Kingdom. And you know that's not going to work. Because Wrestle Kingdom is going to blow it out of the water. Because it's not one night. Not two nights. But three nights. Beat that WWE. Um, blah blah blah. Uh, also gave a stamp of approval on the rebranding of NXT. Uh, widely believe in the past that Triple H would ultimately take over the company. Khan's business acumen and corporate experience, as well as his history in the television, in uh, the industry of television, excuse me, oh, he's cracking up, seem to go in the opposite direction of Vince, who was brought up in the wrestling business. Triple H, Triple H would be the obvious choice if the company wanted to continue in that direction. So, so right now it looks like it's going to be Nick Khan taking over, but. You know, never know about about uh, Triple H. So it is kind of a board of directors thing. So they're gonna have a meeting after Vince dies, and um, or before Vince dies maybe, and see like, well, um, when are you guys gonna take over and run WWE further into the ground? But we'll see what happens with all that. And that's it. All right, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Leave your comments about everything I talked about. AEW's debut in Atlantic City on February the 9th. Uh, Chris Jericho possibly retiring. And Nick Khan possibly... Uh, yeah. Nick Khan possibly being the successor to Vince McMahon when Vince McMahon steps down or possibly dies. But... Hopefully Vince won't die anytime soon. He's 76. He's got dementia. So, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully he can live another 10, 15 years. And we'll see what happens with that. All right. 
That is it. Thank you all for watching my video. We got an hour, we're an hour away from NXT 2.0. Should be some good stuff. Like I said, Kyle O'Reilly and Von Wagner in a cage. We got the last night of Johnny Gargano. See what he has to say. And um, all the fallout from War Games coming up tonight on NXT 2.0. And I'll be back later on YouTube Live to give you the highlights. The results, some some, uh, some great commentary, my thoughts, and um, some old, some some other good shit. And um, that's all I can say about that. All right, I'm Peter Gilmore signing off. Peace out, rock on and rock hard with you, go cute. And that's basically it. So, so thanks for watching. And if you're not down with that, me and the entire prophecy. Which is the greatest thing in the world. And it's real, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't like it, too bad. You can't stop the prophecy. You can't. You're not going to. Not going to. We'll take a few hits. But. We're going to come back stronger than ever in 2022. And that's all I got to say about that. So. So I'm focusing on. On. 2021 right now focusing on my birthday in a couple weeks and Christmas and New Year's and being with my family and Rose's family maybe and um, my my uh, my extended family and all that good shit around the holidays and um, just focusing on myself that's I don't need to be in this BS drama anymore with a stupid fucking website full of full of immature dickheads but it is what it is some that's it, everybody. I'll be back later tonight. And as and as always, if you're not down with that, me and the prophecy, we got three words for you. Fuck you, man. And that's it. Thank you all for watching, and I'm out. Peace, bitches.